globally breast cancer is a very common malignancy among women worldwide and even in india too and this is ranked as number one cancer across the world do you know why it is so much increased the number of cases are increasing worldwide i think the common risk factors are urbanization sedentary lifestyle energy dense diets late pregnancy giving birth to the child at a very late age also not feeding the child body fatness and of course dense breast tissue energy dense diets alcoholic if you're an alcoholic you know you have more chances of developing cancer and apart from that usage of oral contraceptive pills and overweight or obesity these are the common risk factors for breast cancer it's very important to seek medical help if you have a suspicious sign what are the common signs and symptoms of breast cancer it is lump or in the upper part or around the breast and near to the armpit and it, it could be a discharge or inverted ripple there are any lump that you see especially it's very important that self breast examination is very important seek medical help at the earliest so that someone approaching the doctor within one month the death rate is just five percent and survival five year survival percentage is almost 95 percent so delay is detrimental most of the women fear of seeking medical help so remember when you have a suspicious sign please consult the doctor and as you know how do you prevent that maintain good healthy body weight throughout your life cycle and eat a healthy diet regular exercise and of course lactation breastfeeding is very very important so as we all know good nutrition is a foundation stone for good health it's very common for women in their midlife to feel extremely fatigued and tired do you relate to this common complaint the best thing to do is to take care of three very important nutrients iron vitamin d b12 it is miraculous to see how once you improve on these three nutrients your life will change and you will feel much younger fitter and more healthier where do we get nutrients like these iron you get from a lot of uh, green leafy vegetables you get from non vegetarian foods you get from nuts and seeds and you also get this from eggs apart from the protein that we need for our good health let us focus on vitamin d which is a free vitamin we get it from our uh, daily exposure to sunshine if in case they're extremely low try and supplement and bring it up the next nutrient which i'm extremely uh, passionate about is b12 b12 uh, supplementation really really improves your you know feeling of fatigue and tiredness and makes you active throughout the day nutrition is one very important aspect which you can focus on and turn around your life for the good for the energy that you are looking for so try and dig into your macros and definitely into your micronutrients as well Anemia is a very common clinical condition in our society and uh, it is very prevalent in our population. Anemia is nothing but lack of blood or hemoglobin in us. It's very prevalent in adolescent girls, lactating mothers, pregnant women and of course elderly also. The most common symptoms we see when a person is anemic is lethargy, frequent headaches, lack of appetite, paleness of skin, brittle uh, nails, brittle hair and so on and so forth. To prevent these anemic conditions or to prevent these symptoms, uh, to bring the hemoglobin levels to normal, it is always advisable to have an iron-rich diet, a balanced diet with a lot of iron-rich foods, like including a lot of green leafy vegetables, lentils, nuts and seeds like pumpkin and flax seeds, uh, some amount of dates and uh, figs, and if you're a non-vegetarian, inclusion of some lean meat, especially chicken liver or mutton liver, uh, sometimes in between. Prevention of anemia is very important because if not taken care, it can lead to something more fatal. And if necessary, the treatment can be accompanied with a balanced diet and medication if necessary. Because prevention of anemia is uh, very important in the future for any girl child because she is in the uh, childbearing age. Thank you. A healthy woman is the cornerstone of a healthy society. And the health status of a mother is what decides the future of a human being. Diet in pregnancy and also before pregnancy 
decides the nutritional status of a mother and what the status of the offspring is. Is this offspring going to be cognitively better or are they at risk of diabetes also? So experts in epigenetics say that the diet in pregnancy decides the future of her own baby and also the future grandchild too. So diet in pregnancy is very important. So what should it be? A healthy, balanced diet which includes all the food groups, whole grains, proteins from pulses, non-vegetarian options, all rich in vegetables and fruits, be it seasonal and locally available always. And of course, including nuts and oil seeds and essential fats. What's important is the optimal weight gain in pregnancy for a healthy baby. So every woman has to gain her weight in pregnancy based on her first month's body weight or her body mass index. And taking this diet throughout the day along with appropriate physical activity ensures that there is a healthy baby weight and a future good outcome. So always I would suggest invest in a good health of the women not only from conception all through her adolescence and during pregnancy for a healthy society. Hello everyone, we all are women and all of us go through different kind of problems. Today, let us discuss about gynecological cancers. Now, gynecological cancers are the cancers related to the reproductive system of the woman, which includes ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, cervix cancer, etc. So what are the risk factors for all of these? The risk factors, mainly, it could be overweight, it could be the hormonal uh, changes, mainly it is the lifestyle and few of these cancers could be genetic. Now, how to prevent or control, have a control on these, uh, uh, to prevent this type of cancers? One, it is maintaining a healthy weight and identifying the risk factors, recognizing the risk factors, getting ourselves screened or uh, screened for these type of cancers. Now, the main important aspect is the treatment. Treatment for these cancers include surgery, radiation or chemotherapy. So, and how to manage the diet for these cases? The diet management for two, in two areas, one is preventive aspect and one is treatment. So how do, can we prevent? One is to maintain ideal body weight, follow regular and eat, good eating habits, and have lots of fruits and vegetables because those are rich in uh, vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. And uh, the, if the patient is undergoing treatment, treatment dietary management varies as per the side effect uh, uh, what they are experiencing. So most of the side effects include bloating, uh, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So depending upon the symptom, the diet has to be managed. Menopause is an inevitable part of a woman's life. In the present scenario, we are seeing an early menarche. Thus, also we are seeing an early menopause. So, thus we are seeing a lot of women spending about half or near about one third of their life in menopause. Then, what is menopause for women? Are we looking at loss of muscle mass, loss of bone? At the same time, because of the hormonal change which happens with menopause, that is, there is a decrease in the estrogen as well as the progesterone level in the women's body. So she is more exposed to heart diseases as well as weight gain at times as well as osteoporosis. So when we look at all of this, I don't say after menopause there is a sharp decline in all aspects. But if we look at this in a healthy way, taking a healthy lifestyle, I am sure we can give a woman a healthy living. So in this regard, we are looking at a healthy lifestyle. When I say healthy lifestyle, having all complex cereals where we are trying to give a fiber which is coming from the cereal, which is supposed to be 
far better than the fiber coming from the other sources. At the same time, we are including, we should be including a lot of pulses or whole pulses, I would say, uh, which are rich sources of not only protein because in this age group, we are seeing muscle loss. So this food group becomes very important for them as well as some amount of calcium remarkably comes from this food group. Not only this, the fruits and vegetables are very important as a rich source of antioxidants as well as providing vitamins and minerals. Definitely for bone health as well as for calcium, milk and milk products are important. So including all of them in the right uh, concentration or the right uh, serve size, I think we can make diet healthy. At the same time, we can include good amount of phytoestrogens which can mimic the estrogen which is deficient at this age. So exercise, exercise is an, it needs to be done by every woman. So very important, all of them should include at least 150 minutes of exercise specifically for this age group. Weight bearing exercise is important for their bone health. So putting everything together, we can make this phase of life healthy, good for women, but with a little healthy a tint of lifestyle, we can make it healthy. And yes, women deserve this. And happy Women's Day. Women and womenhood enter the PCOs, PCOD, and we can see the monkey. We can common guy. We can see the common guy. We can the common guy. We can the common guy. We can the common guy. We Ahar and Yantran Tapan Sergondali, a leg a Jeevan Sail Marpani, the Tapan Sergaman Chayali. Jeevan Sail Marpo and Tain lay the simple steps. Exercise Marchpokun down Dali. Canisum thirty minutes per day Manu exercise Chayali. A leg a Aharamu, a Pudukuda complex gounded at a chiscoli. Chakati protein undali, a leg a fruits and vegetables undali. Most important essential fatty acids and the loan data to choose color matter. Even new dalente, man more protein sources include chayali, uh, non vegetarian thin ever like the non vegetarian protein sources, non veg food this coach, eggs this coach, fish this coach, uh, like a chicken meat or land with this coach, vegetarians I pay whole grains include chest the ganka, excellent results uh, untai. Alagi fruits and vegetables could have on plate loss, sakan ki sako nindipa yunte ganaka, weight loss and edostundi, alaga hormone balance and edostundi. Ide kadandi, din kitodu in chalanti, seeds include chest the ganaka, definite changes can piste and mata. A seeds laman ki essential fatty acids untai kavati. Ide kadandi, manamaharam low seeds could include chale. Seeds include chest the amatunante. Attain chuchi twenty essential fatty acids, mana hormone balance in Rakshista on Tundan Mata. Adolescent nutrition. Ye aisa samay hai, UIPD jo hai aajkal ki, khani ki zimedaria alaksi ho jati hai. Ek dusre ko deke sikte hai, ek dusre ko deke, nahi nahi adete hoti hai inki. Ek to pani ki jaga, soft drinks pina shuru kar dete hai, or soft drinks itne zyada pile te hai ki pani ki kami ho jati hai badan me. और इसके इलावा जंक फूड बहुत ज्यादा खाने लगते हैं जैसे चिप्स हो गए पिज्जास हो गए एक्चुअली इनको लड़कों को 2600 कैलोरीज लेना चाहिए और लड़कियों को 2200 कैलोरीज लेना चाहिए लेकिन लगातार यह देखा जाता है कि 25% की कमी हो जाती है एडोलेसेंट न्यूट्रिशन में क्योंकि इन आदतों की वजह से इनको न्यूट्रिशन डिफिशिएंसीज भी हो जाती हैं इसमें से मिनरल डिफिशिएंसीज हो जाती हैं कैल्शियम की कमी हो जाती है बोन स्ट्रेंथ कम हो जाता है और काफी कुछ चीजें हो जाती हैं और लड़कियों को एनीमिया भी हो जाता है जिससे आयरन की कमी हो जाती है खून की कमी हो जाती है इसके लिए उनको ऐसी वस्तुएं लेना चाहिए ऐसे भाजियां सब्जियां लेनी चाहिए जो हरी हो हरी वाली पत्तियां हो और ऐसी चीजें लेना चाहिए जैसे गोश वगैरह मटन वगैरह जो नॉनवेज आइटम्स खाते हैं लगातार अंडे जो खाने लगते हैं डेली एक अंडा खा सकते हैं उनकी खून की कमी कम हो जाएगी ऐसे ऐसी चीजें जो होती हैं इनको ये इस समय में होती हैं क्योंकि काफी चेंजेस हो जाती हैं बच्चा जब जवान होने लगता है तो काफी चेंजेस हो जाती है बदन में तो उसकी वजह से उनका कैलोरी इंटेक भी बढ़ जाता है बट दूसरे बच्चों को देख के उनकी जो आदतें बचपन की होती हैं वो सारे चेंज करके नई-नई आदतें डाल देते हैं जिसके वजह से लगातार फास्ट फूड ऐसे वगैरह लेना शुरू कर देते हैं और पानी की कमी हो जाती है और 
कार्बोनेटेड बेवरेजेस ज़्यादा ले लेते हैं तली हुई चीज़ें ज़्यादा ले लेते हैं उसकी वजह से काफ़ी सारी न्यूट्रिय डिफिशेंसिस हो जाती हैं तो हमारी रे ये राय है कि आप ऐसी ऐसी चीज़ें लीजिए जो आपकी सेहत के लिए अच्छी हो और अगर आपको इसके सिवाय इसके अलावा कुछ पता नहीं है इसके बारे में कुछ पता नहीं है तो आप एक डाइटिशन के पास जा सकते हैं और एक रजिस्टर्ड डाइटिशन या न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट के पास जाके सलाह ले सकते हैं यह रोज महिला अन्नी रंग मुझे मैं चूस्ना अला वार हेल्थ इश्यूस हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स चाल एक्वेकाल चूस्ना वाट मुख्यमंत्री वार बोन हेल्थ सो महिला स्ट्रांग उठारो मन देश स्ट्रांग उ फैमिल स्ट्रांग उ सो इवन स्ट्रांग उ वो हेल्दी उसे वारी बोन जाग्रत चूस सो बोन हेल्थ अभी चाल इंपारटे सो महिला मुख्य ईस्ट्रोजन अने हारमोन चाल वरक बोन हेल्दी उचा की हेल्प अला वारी एज ईस्ट्रोजन तग्पोम दिन द्वारा वाले बोन रिटेड प्रॉब्लम लाइक आस्टोपोरस आर्थरइटिस अंड बोन वीक इलावी मन चूस्त उठा सो अंदव मुख्य महिला चेज फिफ्टी इयर्स लपल वाले कैलशम अं वैटम डी तपक वार आहारेला चूसक उर्वात मुख्य वारी आहार अट्लीस्ट थौज एम जी आफ कैलम उला अं एट हड्रेड इंटरनेशनल यूनिट आफ् वैटम डी वार रेग्युर् अंदेला चूसक उ दा तो फिफ्टी इयर्स एबव वाले ट्व हड्रेड एम जी आफ कैलम अं थौज यूनिट आफ् वैटम डी वार रेग्युर् आहार उला चूसक दा तो कैलम रिच फुड्स मुख्य पाल एग् इवन वार एनो रकल कैलम रिच सीरियल ऐंट वार आहार इंक्लूडू अला वेजिटेबल तरवा इवन कैलम अधिक फुड्स रेग्युर् वो अला सन की एक्सपोज अव चाल इंपारटे वैटम डी वार रेग्युर् हेल्दी उड़ेला चूस दीन द्वारा वो चाल वरक बोन हेल्दी उठा तरवा वारी आरोग्य का चाल वरक उपयोगपड़ी